Hello everyone, my name is Christina Robertson and I work as a podiatrist. Now, I know what you're all thinking, she must be lovely, she works with children. Well, <laughs> I actually work with feet. <laughs> I spent four years training and then did a master's in order to specialise in cutting old people's toenails. <laughs> Uh, I work for the most pious hospital in London, named after not only just one saint, but two, Guy's and St Thomas's. <laughs> and I'm very proud to say that I work for the NHS. It's our national institution, free for all, at point of delivery, regardless of wealth, status or smelly feet. <laughs> now, most people balk at the thought of touching other people's feet. And my patients don't think anything of saying to me with a look of utter disgust, how could you do your job? <laughs> like I'm a traffic warden or something. <laughs> but I just assumed that everyone had a foot fetish. But I discovered that it was only just me and Quentin Tarantino. Except the difference between us was that he prefers a big sexy lady size nine foot and I prefer one with a chronic fungal infection and two toes amputated. <laughs> My job is outstandingly ridiculous. We like to call our instruments after animals and insects, such as the beaver blade or the mosquito forcep. And the reason for this is that we're damn good at drawing blood. <laughs> now, I don't know if anyone in here works in science or medicine tonight, but you'll know that we like to use Latin terminology to make ourselves sound really fucking clever. <laughs> So for example, in podiatry, I might say, rece um, I might say resected onychocryptosis, or enucleated holoma durum, or debrided subungal hematoma, which makes everything I do sound really grandiose, when in fact it translates as cut a nail, dug out a corn, and scraped off a bit of hard skin. <laughs> um, now, according to The Guardian, podiatry is in the top 2% of most rewarding professions, along with teaching and nursing. Now, I know I get lots of satisfaction and I love to hear compliments from my patients after a treatment such as, I'm walking on air, said by the 90-year-old lady as she hobbles out the clinic on her Zimmer frame as a morphine patch kicks in. <laughs> I'll be going down the disco the night ahead, said by the 75-year-old man wearing his Lee jeans, trainers and white sports socks, the kind you get down Sports Direct for $3.99 for a pack of 10. <laughs> um, now, you might think that it's all fun and games down at the foot clinic. Well, no, it's not. <laughs> the NHS have to show that the taxpayer are getting value for money. So this means that I only get 20 minutes to treat each patient. But you might think this is good as GPs only get 10. However, there's a reason for this. And that's because the GP's rooms are always located in the prime location right beside the waiting room. But as I have to walk my elderly patients down a corridor the length of a football pitch, because the podiatry cl clinic is always at the furthest end of the building in order to isolate the stink. <laughs> now, I work in an extremely noisy multi-chair clinic with only a curtain that separates me from my five colleagues. So we're all shouting for airspace. However, I do try and keep discreet, but it doesn't always work. So one time I had this gentleman in and I was asking him for his medical history, but he was unable to hear me. So I looked at him directly and tried to speak as clearly as possible. Do you have any medical conditions? Well. This time he was able to hear me and he answered, but unfortunately I was unable to hear him as he seemed to be whispering. So I looked at him again and said, sir, you're going to have to speak up. So just at this point, the room went completely silent and he bellows at the top of his voice, I've got erectile dysfunction, love. What's that got to do with me feet anyway? <laughs> All 
in a cluster, the only thing I could think to say was, uh, well, your willy and your feet do share the same blood supply. Now, let's have a look at these bunions. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to put my best foot forward now and leave. You're an amazing audience. Good night.